How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. Before we go any further in this video to talk about the end of an era for Celtic Football Club in dominance in Scottish football, can you give it a like, a subscribe or a comment below if you've already done that on previous videos and subscribe to the channel. I want to say thank you very much. 70 away from 5k. We get to this 5k, I'll have big, big news for people and I'm looking forward to it. So, it's an end of an era. It's hitting hard for a lot of Celtic fans today. I know the league was gone a long time, but it's been confirmed. Congratulations to Rangers winning the league. Congratulations to Rangers stopping Celtic. They say in their, ten, their terms for doing 10 in a row. Congratulations to them. Look, they were Steven Gerrard transformed that team from what they were the last couple of seasons to now a good dominant side. And um, looks like they're going to win the league with double, double figures at this rate. So... Um, it's a it's a hard it's been a hard season on and off the pitch. It's been hard obviously without the fans in the stadium. It's been hard with the the shambles of Ball and Goalie, the boy getting knocked out of the League Cup to Ross County, losing the, the St. Mirren at home, dropping points away at crucial games like Livingston, Hibs, Aberdeen. You can write a book on it. It's an absolute collapse. It a collapse of Neil Lennon being a good manager to a disaster manager. And I'm still thankful for what Neil has done in the last nine years, winning five winning five titles in that space of a nine in a row, winning Scottish Cups, winning Glasgow Derbies. I'm very grateful for what Neil has done as a manager. But at the same time, he wasn't up for this season. And there was early signs and early signs. People wanted him out the door, but he'll always be a legend in my eyes. People might turn around and say, oh, he's the man that stopped him, but it wasn't him, just him alone. It was the coaching staff. It was the board, it was the team. The team weren't hungry enough to do it. But we drew nil all today. So the league's over and done with. At least they don't have to go to Celtic Park now and put us, put us out of our misery. It's done today. The injection's in. We're over and done with. But um, next season is going to be a massive rebuilding structure for Celtic on and off the pitch. You know, we need clarity. We need a director of football. We need the CEO to come back in and step his authority. We need a completely different balance from what I was previously was with Peter Lawwell. We need Dominic McCoy to step his authority and communicate with the fans. Build a relationship with the fans. That relationship that, that fans will be encouraged what's going on. You know, have that have their meetings with different supporter groups. Give them the insurance because Celtic are known worldwide for a massive fan base and being more than the club. So one trophy, don't let it get you down. I know you've you probably live in Scotland and you're seeing the four rooks and you're seeing the 50 foot stuff and that malarkey. Look at they've had they've been in the cave for nine years. Let them have their moment. Let them have their champagne. Let them have it. Because at the end of the day, we had we had a lot of champagne. We had a lot of champagne. We had a lot of jelly and ice cream, you know. At least we pay the taxes, you know. As you always say, form is temporary, but liquidation is permanent. They may quote in the comments below all this coming back at me, all this malarkey. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I love a bit of banter. I love a bit of objection handling to me. So go ahead, deal with that, me. But today, the most positive side is James Forrest is back. I'll take time for him to get back into the gist of things. He looked quite good when he came on. Rogers had spells. A lot of people were criticising Turnbull's um, ability today, even though Turnbull's been one of our standout players this season. So the anti Turnbull people wake up to life. Seriously, he's been unbelievable. We're going to build a team around this boy. He's going to be something else. He's going to be a future captain for Celtic, you know. He is going to be a future captain. I just need a bit of time, but it's hurting today. It is hurting because it's just, it felt like the last 10 minutes you could feel the anxiety kicking in. Like, oh, Jesus, this is actually real. Like, the league is leaving Celtic Park. It's going across the Clyde over the Ibrox to them. They deserve it, you know that way. And... We will take we we will never take teams for granted in Scottish football, and that's what we that's what we done this season in all aspects. So let us know what you think. Where did we go? Who's the man? Who is the manager? What has to what has to change? Who has to go? What players have to go? What players have to come in? Throw the names. It's all speculation. Throw the names at me. Who do you think is the right man? For the, to rebuild Celtic and get them back winning that title. It might, might not be the fourth title next season. It might be the following season. You know, you've got to have patience in football. And that's what a lot of fans don't have. You've got to have patience. I think 
that fans were holding by Neil Lennon's string that he could change it around, and he never did. You know, I feel sorry for him. You know, he tried his very best. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough. And a lot of fans will stick by that Neil Lennon class as 10. As I said in the video, he didn't class as 10. The whole setup of the club, from Lennox Town on the pitches to the up to the hierarchy of the board, cost us 10. Playing on them, playing on them stadiums, giving venues, playing at Celtic Park, conceding stupid defensive errors. That's what cost us 10. That's what cost us 10. And it's, it's, it's hard to take, but I'm confident. I, I've, I've had annoying great years of success. We've all had great days out, having proper actual parades, proper parade, bus parades, you know, great times, going to so many finals, winning, being dominant. It's been great as a Celtic fan. And them days will come back. You just have to soak it up in football. You win some, you lose some. Win, lose, or draw. Celtic supporters faithful, true and true. You know, over and over, we will follow you. Get that quote into your head. So speak to us all soon, folks. Um, be back on tomorrow to go through the last nine years and talk about our best moments, our bad moments, and that we got to reflect on what's what we have accomplished in long term. We've accomplished a lot. We haven't accomplished a lot this season, but long term we've accomplished a lot. We've we've added a lot of honours to the list. We've produced some great players. We've had some terrific nights, terrific days, terrific wins in the Glasgow derbies, terrific days in Hamden. You know, people forget about that. Terrific games away in Europe as well. We can't forget that. And terrific moments. We've lost some amazing players. We've lost some legends in the last nine years as well and that's that's life in football you got to come back stronger than ever so if you're going to subscribe to the channel you really appreciate